Hey guys, it's Coding Jesus. Welcome to my ninth episode of my C++ quiz series, a series where we look at various C++ concepts by looking at little practical quiz-like problems. And these quiz-like problems range from easy to hard. We're still on easy, guys. We're on episode nine, so let's jump right into this episode's content, and we are going to be looking at references. All right, so let's get right to it. On my screen here, you can see int func that takes in two references to an integers, okay? The first integer reference is a, and the second integer reference is b. In this function, what happens is we set a to three, b to four, and we return a plus b. In main, we have the declaration and initialization of three integers, a to one, b to two, and c to the return value of func aa, okay? Func aa is obviously this func, and it's taking in a as the first parameter and a as the second parameter. Simple enough. Now we want to know, or we want to think about what will be printed when we uncomment this line. So give it some time, think about it a little, and we will get to the answer and why that's the case. All right, so hopefully you've thought it through. Now let's take a look at the answer and talk about it. All right, so the answer is 428. What's going on here? Let's first look at C. C is probably the most complex, probably where people might have been tripped up, so let's look at it first. So in C, we have this function that takes in a as the first parameter and a as the second parameter. What's going on here with b is that b is aliasing a. An alias is a, another variable with a different name that points to the same memory address as the variable that it is pointing to or that it's referring to. So b here is still referring to a even though it has a deceptive name of b that's similar to the b that we have here, okay? So we're referring to a here. So both of these are a. So what actually happens here is that a is set to three and then a, right, b is a alias of a, so b is pointing to the same memory address of a, so b is a, a is set to four. So by the time we get here, a is set to four, and a is set to four. So four plus four is eight, and that's the return value assigned to c. So what happens when we print c is we get eight, which is exactly what you see here, four to eight, okay? Let's go left. The next thing we see here is b. b is two, now why is b two? Well, because B hasn't been mutated. B hasn't been sent into a function that has changed it. B hasn't been changed somewhere in between these two lines. So B stays at two, right? Once again, this B here is not this B in main. The B in the function here is an alias to the variable that we pass into here, which is A. Okay, so B doesn't change, B is two. Now A here, A has changed because we do pass A as a reference, as an integer reference into func. And what happens here is that A gets set to four. The last thing that happens to A is it gets set to four. Okay, so A turns to four. So we print out four to eight. Okay guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, smash up the like button, give me that thumbs up, comment in the comment section below what you liked about it, if you have any more questions, what you'd like to see next and maybe in a potential episode, and subscribe guys. I hope you learn a lot in these series. I hope that they teach you more than you might potentially learn in some university classes. And I hope you don't mind my lighting here. You're not here for the lighting, you're here for the code. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.